Now what will happen here if you simply rely on enforcement is that more and more Latino men and women will be criminalized and locked up. You can't lock up this problem. You've got to address it with the resources in education, in housing, in job opportunities. These are the things that will make a difference. And so I'm glad to see you today because our voices must be heard. And no one will ever be clear about what we are saying exactly, which is why Mr. Sessions needs to sit down with us. Nobody understands this better than we do. Nobody understands the issues better than those who have helped to organize us here today. And when you see one of the parents dare to come out and risk himself in order to make clear that we need someone who can help us, I'm telling you, we are doing the right thing. We must start to unite. We will let Trump and his, and his administration, Jeff Sessions, and anybody else that wants to demonize and criminalize our youth and our families, that we will not allow this to happen. No one leaves home unless home is the mouth of a shark. You only run for the border when you see the whole city running as well. Your neighbors running faster than you, breath bloody in their throats, the boy you went to school with who kissed you dizzy behind the old tin factory is holding a gun bigger than his body. You only leave home when home won't let you stay. No one leaves home unless home chases you. Fire under feet, hot blood in your belly. It's not something you ever thought of doing until the blade burned threads into your neck. And even then, you carry the anthem under your breath only tearing up your passport in an airport toilet, sobbing as each mouthful of paper made it clear that you wouldn't be going back. You have to understand that no one puts their children in a boat unless the water is safer than the land. No one burns their palms under the trains, beneath carriages. No one spends days and nights in the stomach of a truck, feeding a newspaper unless the miles traveled mean something more than journey. No one crawls under fences. No one wants to be beaten pitied, no one chooses refugee camps, or strip searches where your body is left aching, or prison. Their supporters have demonstrated fear, fear of immigrants, fear of change, fear of minorities, fear of the unity of people, fear of people protesting them. Look where they put us. Mm -hmm. They're afraid. Yeah. Immigrants, refugees, and working people in the U.S. have demonstrated courage. And this is, be clear, a battle between fear and courage. That's the message that Long Island is sending to Jeff Sessions today. We are not afraid of you, and we will stand up with our immigrant brothers and sisters. We're united against hate. We are united in love. 